So now when it comes to metal snare drums, every alloy gives you a different sound characteristic. You have steel and aluminum, which is more brighter sounding. Brass is technically somewhat in the middle. And then you have bronze and copper, which is more of a darker sound characteristic. Well, in this Snare Saturday video, it's time to do another blind test to see if you can hear the difference between bronze and copper. Yo, what's going on everybody? Nick Costa here, and in this video, we are going to do a blind test to see if you can hear the difference between a bronze and a copper snare drum. Two alloys that are known for being a little bit darker as far as the sound characteristics are concerned, and also not as popular as brass, aluminum, or even steel. So you're gonna get the chance to hear both of those drums blind, nothing to see, to see if you can hear the difference between the two. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. So if you are somebody who enjoys a brass metal snare drum, but maybe you're not a fan of the very long sustain and overtone that you get out of brass, you can go to a bronze drum, which will give you a similar characteristic, but might be a tad bit drier. Now, if you enjoy that darker characteristic, like say bronze or even brass compared to aluminum, but you want it to be a bit more direct, that's where copper comes into play. All of them can sound great in various tunings, but those overtone differences can make a big difference in that sound characteristic you might be going for. And who knows, maybe you're a fan of a specific alloy, but during a blind test, your ears might be telling you something different. So let's find out in this Snare Saturday video when we do that blind test between bronze and copper. Now let's talk about the specs of each drum. Now the bronze drum is a Ludwig rocker. This is a 5x14 shell, which is depth by diameter. At least that's what Ludwig advertised it as, although it is looking a little bit more like a 5.5x14. This is not a seamless shell. This is a shell where the ends were put together and welded. The drum is outfitted with 10 double-sided bow tie lugs, 2.3 millimeter triple flange hoops on the top and the bottom, the generic Ludwig rocker throw off and butt plate, and then outfit it with my preferred heads, which is a Remo Ambassador X coated on the top and an Ambassador snare side on the bottom. Finally, the snare wires are a set of generic snare wires. Now, for the copper snare drum, this is a present day Ludwig copper phonic, which means that it is a 1.2 millimeter seamless shell. This is the 5x14 model that is outfitted with 10 double sided imperial lugs, 2.3 millimeter triple flange hoops on the top and the bottom, Ludwig's P88 AC throw off and butt plate, and this drum is outfitted with the heads that came stock from the Ludwig factory, which have been made by Remo. Some folks say it is an ambassador coated on the top and an ambassador snare side on the bottom. And others do say that these could possibly be made to the specs of the Ludwig Weathermaster heads, which might mean that they are slightly different than an ambassador coated on the top and an ambassador snare side on the bottom. Finally, this drum is outfitted with a set of Ludwig generic snare wires. All right, folks, so I am excited to announce that the Pennsylvania chapter of Percussive Art Society and Junk Rock Drums is going to be having an event with session musician Dylan Wissing on Friday, November the 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. at Junk Rock Drums in Westchester, PA. Now, Dylan Wissing is an in-demand studio musician who has played on countless hit records, including those from Alicia Keys, John Legend, and even Drake. And in this two hour masterclass, he's gonna show you how to create a home studio rig so you can get professional quality recordings and even how you can do it using a real world budget. Now this is going to be a hands-on masterclass. So you're gonna be diving right in with Dylan, miking drums, talking about the types of microphones you need and how many, where to place them, what is phase and why is it important, as well as what to do after you record the drums, like mixing them and what type of plugins you need. Also, he's gonna show you how you can get professional quality recordings using a real world budget. Now, space is limited for this event, and if you are a member of Percussive Art Society, you can get a discount, and the promo code is on the Pennsylvania PAS Chapter Facebook page. And the link to that page, as well as the link to where you can reserve your spot, is all in the description below. Now, if you have been watching my videos and you're a fan of the sound that I have, this is an event you wanna to come to because a lot of what I do is what I've learned from Dylan. So come on out to Junk Rock Drums on Friday, November 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. Hang out with a bunch of other drummers 
and learn how you can create a home studio rig that will allow you to get professional quality drum recordings. Now, let's get back to the video. So just like all the other Snare Saturdays where we did a blind test, I'm going to play both drums through three different tunings. A low tuning, a medium tuning, and a high tuning. While I am in each tuning, I will go back to back between the drums and see if you can hear a difference between the two. But since this is a blind test and I don't want to have a blank screen because that'll be super boring, here's a bunch of more royalty-free B-roll. So now that you've had the opportunity to hear both drums in this blind test, so now that you've had the opportunity to hear both drums in this blind test, feel free to leave your guesses on which drum is which in the comment section below. Because it's way more fun to do that than wait till the very end of the video where you get to see what each drum is. Now, if you are unsure of which drum is which, let's do this blind test again. So here's some more royalty-free B-roll. So now that you've had the opportunity to hear both drums in this blind test, so now that you've had the opportunity to hear both drums in three different tunings two times in a row, did your guesses stay the same between the first time you heard everything and the second time? Or maybe the second time that you were listening to it, maybe there were some discrepancies there. Either way, it's time to identify which drum is which. But rather than me just talking about it, here's the video that goes along with the audio you just heard.
So now that you've had the opportunity to hear both drums in this blind test, so now that you know which drum was which, were your assumptions correct? Or did this video kind of throw you for a loop a little bit? Either way, I would love to know. So feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And yes, these drums are a little bit different from one another. One is seamless, the other one is not. One has imperial lugs with gaskets behind it, the other has bow tie lugs without any gaskets behind it. Both of them have completely different drum heads on them. They have different throw offs. And although both of them have generic snare wires, they are a little bit different from one another. However, we can all agree that there is a sound difference between bronze and copper. And the real question is, were you able to identify which one was which? If so, awesome. And if you didn't, that's pretty awesome too. Hopefully this video just showed you something a little bit different than what your assumptions were. Now, if you have any other additional questions on either drum or anything else, like how I was tuning the drums or the gear that I am playing in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the earlier Snare Saturday videos where I feature each drum individually through a few more tunings, I've put links to those videos in the description below. And if you wanna see some of the earlier videos from the Snare Saturday series, I've put a link to the playlist in the description below. I'll also have it come up right here to make it a little bit easier for you. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video to determine if you can hear the difference between a bronze and a copper snare drum. And until next time, see you later.